Welcome to LRM Leasing. So we've had issues where we have air leaks in the back by the quick release valve and the ABS valve and people are trying to determine which one's which and we've seen where it's been misdiagnosed several times. Well there's a few steps you could take by yourself to diagnose this truck and you're going to need two things. You're going to need a pair of cutters, which you guys should have in your truck, a knife, scissors or cutters, and one zip tie. That's all you need. This is going to be your quick release valve and this is where we're going to determine that if it's going to be the quick release valve or the ABS valve. It's going to take about five or ten minutes of your time. We're going to cut two zip ties on the back. You're going to cut this zip tie first and then the other zip tie along the frame. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull it and put that zip tie over to create a pin. Once you have the line pinched, then you'll notice that the air will dissipate from where it's leaking from and that will determine that it will be the quick release valve and the ABS valve will be fine. When having this issue, it's always been misdiagnosed and it costs quite a bit of money when you guys spend anywhere between four to five hundred dollars just finding out that it was a thirty to forty dollar part. And you could save that money by just doing the few steps on your own. 